Cleaning. Clean the surface using a high pressure water cleaner. Being thorough to remove any loose grout, focus on the grout joints whilst clean to give a good clean. Ensure the surface is completely saturated, then apply the diluted cleaning agent. Don't apply the cleaning agent to areas that are not wet as it will soak into the porous materials and react with the membrane. Be sure to read the personal protective equipment that is listed on the bottle for personal safety. This will include vapour mask, goggles, waterproof suit, gloves and boots. Leave the cleaning agent on the surface for a couple of minutes, then use scrubbing brushes on poles to scrub the area. Check to ensure all grout joints are clean. If not, use a small scrubbing brush to clean them down. Usually the gurney has done this for you. The above process can be completed fairly quickly, but you might find there are some spots that need additional cleaning, for instance, efflorescence. Please refer to the efflorescence video on how to remove. Typically we say use chlorine for showers and acid for balconies, but if you had an area like a terracotta balcony that was covered in mould, then chlorine should be used. Chlorine kills mould and that's why we use it, otherwise go with acid. Never use chlorine and hydrochloric acid on the same deck as the combination of these chemicals could be deadly. Choose either acid or chlorine. Please note, we clean the membrane for adhesion, not for appearance. So please make sure you provide the terms of service to the customer with your quote so they are aware of the fact that not all stains can be removed and if they have concerns they should treat the area prior to our arrival. Some white stains that you find under pot plants will go away with the application of the membrane but otherwise stains that are on the tiles after cleaning will be there with the application of the membrane and will be unable to be removed after the membrane has been applied. Make sure the cleaning agent you use is thoroughly removed from the surface as it will react with the membrane and turn it white. If this occurs, remove the affected membrane, wipe the surface with a clean dampened sponge and ensure the surface dries before reapplication of the membrane to avoid condensation bubbles. Also, be cautious about where the water is washing away to, as the agent will continue to work until it is sufficiently diluted. Once the area has been cleaned and rinsed off, remove the extra water off the surface. This is best done with a squeegee, but you can use anything you have on hand.